Salvador Felipe Jacinto Dali I. Dominic was born on May 11, 1904, in a small town called Figueroa, Spain. He is best known for his artwork in the Surrealism movement, with many of his pieces displaying hallucinogenic and delusional qualities as though both the artist and the audience are on drugs. Although people are unaware of Dali's use of drugs being the result of his questionable art and behavior, Dali himself states, I don't do drugs, I am drugs. Others may say that his erotic behavior stems from his harsh upbringing. Salvador Dali was of three children to Salvador Sr. and Felipa. He had a sister named Anna and a brother with the name Salvador as well, who died at the age of 21 months on August 1st, 1903. From a disease unknown exactly, although there are many theories, but none of which provide proof, at a young age, Dali's parents took him to his brother's grave, which was awfully disturbing to see his own name on a headstone. Throughout his early years, he was trying to prove his existence, which Dali states in The Persistence of Memory, a biography written about Dali by Meredith Etherington Smith. Quote, I wish to prove to myself that I am not the dead brother, but the living one. End quote that metamorphosis of Narcissus, I can't help but think of both the first and second Salvador. With the right side of the painting representing his brother and the left of himself looking through the eyes of his parents. With the left side depicting a man looking down at his reflection in the water and being ashamed. The hand on the right reminds me of his brother as though his hand is emerging through the earth while holding the egg. The egg I see as a representation of their family, which is cracked and a little broken. It almost looks as though there is a mirror, or as Dali states, quote, seeing my double as much as myself, end quote. Smith. The left side is mostly shades of reds and yellows, with the right side being much lighter and calming sensation of the blues. Dolly said, quote, I devote all my feelings to the color and the feelings. It is the color and shades which give life and harmony, end quote. In this and many of Dolly's other paintings, a certain object can represent more than one thing, from stone to flesh. Writing and painting were both equally important to Dali and his creativeness. In the Metamorphosis of Narcissus, these two came together with both his painting and his poem he wrote with the same title. The poem does not put into word the meaning of the painting, but they both enhance each other. Absorbed by his reflection with the digestive slowness, of carnivorous plants becomes invisible. There remains of him only the hallucinatingly white oval of his head, his head again more tender, his head chrysalis of hidden biological designs, his head held up by the tips of the water's fingers, at the tips of the fingers of the insensate hand of the terrible hand, of the mortal hand, of his own reflection. When that head splits, when that head splits, when that head bursts, it will be the flower, the new Narcissus, Gala, my Narcissus. Dolly dabbled in many forms of art, such as assisting in filmmaking, poetry, and he even participated in the production of a magazine. His art was his form of therapy. Dolly had many influences throughout his life, with his uncle being the first. His uncle owned a bookstore and influenced Dolly on certain books to read. Next came the Pitsot family. They were the first to recognize Dolly's talent 
and they introduced him to more styles and forms of art. Ra Raymond Pizzot's paintings, quote, made the deepest impression on my life, end quote, says Dolly. But the one influencer I feel had the greatest impact on him was his drawing teacher, Joan Nunez, who taught Dolly to be devoted and respectful. Nunez gave Dolly advice to, quote, never go beyond the limits, end quote, which to our benefit he did not take.